So I was walking at the fair yesterday with my uncle through the, the, the barn with the chickens and the ducks. And I couldn't help but notice that ducks are kind of racist against chickens. I mean, the ducks hate the chickens. Most people don't know this, but it goes back millennia. Ducks hate chickens. And you know why? Because ducks think they're better than chickens. And the reason ducks think they're better than chickens is, and this feud goes back millennia, is people used to go, what came first, the chicken or the egg? And the ducks were like, hey, we're ducks, man. We're better than these fucking chickens and eggs. We can fly. We can swim. We can walk. Chickens, they're fat. All they can do is walk around. Racist ducks. So the chickens are just sitting there like, hey, we're chickens in the barn. Like, everybody comes to see us. We're the chickens. The ducks are up there, like, right in the front of the cage, like, in your face, like, quack, we're ducks. Look at us. We're the real deal. We're the ducks. And, you know, they're stretching their necks and showing off. Well, the chickens are just like, yeah, we're more popular. Which is why the ducks have formed sort of like a duck KKK. Like a duck clan. I'm not sure what they call it. But it's kind of like the clan. Only it's for ducks. And what these ducks do. Is they rally together. And they try to get chickens out of the duck neighborhoods. Surprisingly. They haven't got the chickens out of the duck barn yet. But yeah. They, they try to get the ducks out of the, the chickens out of the duck neighborhoods. So I say we need to move the ducks and chickens in different barns. Before the ducks start burning crosses in front of the chicken cages. Because that's what's coming next, people. The ducks are going to start burning crosses and are going to start lynching chickens because they want their own barn. And let's face it, ducks kind of deserve it because ducks are kind of awesome. Plus, you can have sex with a duck. At least that's what Garfunkel and Oates say. Well, then I was walking through the rabbit cages with him. And I kept seeing these breeding rabbits. And I just kind of thought, what sort of an awful life would a breeding rabbit have? I mean, they get the best food, they get the best water, and they're forced to have sex all day with every other rabbit that's female in there. And that's just horrible to believe, that you're forced to just go around and have sex all day with things. That should be animal abuse right there. Just making rabbits hump all day. Because let's face facts. That rabbit doesn't have time for his rabbit kids. Which he probably has 80 of through like 10 different rabbits. Because they make him breed all day. So the kids come and they're like can we play rabbit ball? And the rabbit's like no I gotta hump this your sister over here and make more rabbits. And they're like but that's your daughter. And he's like, they're making me humper anyways. That would be a horrible life to imagine being in. You know, you're, you're let's say you're a human and, and you know, you're, you're being fed filet mignon and lobster all day. You're being given whatever you want to drink. And all you got to do is sit in your bedroom and be humped all day. You don't even have to do the work. You could just like lay on the bed and the woman would just come in and get on top of you. That would be a horrible life. That should be animal abuse there. Making rabbits hump and animals hump all day. Then again, the other rabbits who weren't breeding rabbits were labeled as like single fryers. So apparently we fry rabbits. I didn't know how to cook a rabbit because I've never ate rabbit. But apparently we fry them. Of course, after the breeding rabbit humps them. That way you're eating nice rabbit sperm. So that is what I, I did at the fair yesterday. I felt bad for the breeding rabbits. And I'm, I, I'm waiting for the ducks to start burning crosses in front of chicken coops.